Hey, it's your boy DJ Wolf. Uh, got a couple of things on my mind here. Um, <clears throat> I uh, went on to NBA.com last night. Was trying to find out when the NBA draft was going to be. Come to find out, the NBA draft is on uh, June 22nd, and guess who is number one in the draft, eligibility wise? That's right, Lonzo Ball is number one in the draft. Now, what's shocking to me, I didn't realize Lonzo Ball is only 19 years old, which basically means he's a freshman. Uh, he, so he's basically going to come out after his first year of college. I'm kind of like, mm, I'm not sure why you want to do that, but yeah, he put in for his eligibility to come out after his first year. I think that was just some of his dad's doing. Um, I was telling my wife uh, late, uh, late yesterday, I said, you know what? And I think I told some other people too. I think if LeVar Ball was going to really plan it and market it, two things. He should have kept his mouth shut, number one. And number two, he should have waited until the day of the draft. Or make the release of his business as well as his uh, son's shoes eligible after he got drafted. You could have built a whole campaign around that. Because I was thinking about that. I said, I mean, if that was my son, I could say I would stay behind the scenes, worked out the things behind the scenes, whatever. You know, I, I, I wouldn't have probably got the deal that I would have got with the bigger shoe brands. Did my own thing, lowered the price so I can actually concentrate on the target retail people, the group that I wanted to target, at a modestly, uh, moderate, decent price where everybody can afford it. And then I would have waited until draft day and came up with a specific line. And then after he got drafted, I would have released the shoe. See, he pre to me, I think he prematurely is hyping up his sons. Number one, he, he's over, he's overdoing it. He really is. I don't give a damn what anybody says. He's overdoing it. If he wanted to market, he should have marketed it a lot better than what he did. Because now, not only are you going to probably price some price out the shoes, you're going to price out your son. I have a really good uh, start in the NBA. There's no doubt. And like somebody was saying, it's not like he's going to be drafted on the number one team. He's the number one draft pick to be, be on the worst team. Which means that they are going to try, whoever picks him, are going to try to, if and that's if he stays number one in the draft, his draft eligibility might go down. Who knows? Because uh, who wants to get him? On top of that, the team itself are going to have to try to make him the franchise star, which means he's going to have to step up the game. He really got to be good. Otherwise, he's going to look bad. I just thought about that, too. And I was like, mm, I don't know. Like I said, I'm, I'm wishing nothing but the best for the young man. His dad is, is another story. But the young man himself, I'm really hoping that he gets out of the showers and eventually he tells, lets his dad know, hey, this is my life. You know? At some point, he's going he's gonna to he's gonna, he's gonna have a come to Jesus moment when he's going to have to do that. I had to do it with my father back in the 80s. You know? And in essence, I had to tell him, no, I'm doing my own thing. You know? He wanted me to move back to Cleveland. And I was like, I'm not moving back. There was nothing to move back for. 2017, I proved my point. This is DJ Wolf. That's all I got for right now. Uh, questions and comments about what I just mentioned. Because I had to bring this back up again. I, it was just on my mind. You know. Um, questions and comments. I can be reached at For All To Hear TV on YouTube. For All To Hear on Twitter. My DJ Wolf Live page is DJ Wolf on Facebook. And my email address is DJ Wolf Online at Yahoo.com. 
All right, guys, this is DJ Wolf. That's all I got to say. I'll probably be doing the podcast between now and sometime Saturday uh, morning. 